kind of getting used to the business that is the NFL. What perspective did you gain from last year with a down, obviously losing all these teammates, that you've taken into this year kind of mentally, you know, knowing what's going to happen? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's something that happens every year. Um, but I don't know. I don't think there's really anything you could do to um, get used to it uh, or make it any less uh, impactful. I uh, definitely feel for all the guys that we let go, um, all the guys that, you know, are just in, you know, different circumstances right now. And all the guys across the league, you know, there's a bunch of, obviously all the other teams had to do the same thing. Um, and yeah, it's a tough, tough business. Um, I'm, I pray for, for everyone who, you know, a lot of people's futures are up in the air. There's a lot of uncertainty with people and that's just, you know, that's just a tough, you know, people have families, people have, uh, you know, wise kids, loved ones, people depend on them. And, you know, again, that's, it's a tough part of the business. So I, it's, it's hard. Um, you know, a lot of guys that we, we, you know, you build a relationship with that give a lot. You see day in and day out, see every day, build a rapport with, and just seeing them gone, it, it sucks. So I I, um, I feel for, for everyone dealing with that. On a positive note, they kept seven wide receivers. And what does that say about the room? And what have you seen from the room? Not maybe necessarily compared to last year, but how it compares to kind of, you know, the ebbs and flows of, of that room over the last, I guess, you know, however many months. Yeah, um, you know, I, again, I think it just speaks to, to, you know, the strength we have in that room. Um, you know, a, a lot of guys that, again, that worked hard, uh, you know, happy for, for everyone who, who made it and, um, you know, who, who's on the team. I, I think we have a, have a great room, a lot of people that, um, you know, contribute. And, again, it, it's just cool seeing the growth of those uh, of the guys that are here, um, you know, from first got them, whether it be OTAs, uh, training camp, whatever it may be, and then just seeing them develop and grow, get more comfortable in the system. All of us kind of being able to do that together, um, so I'm I'm super excited for that. If a team called you up and asked you about the growth that Terrace Marshall made from year one to year two, what would you say after having practiced with him both summers? Yeah, um, I just say that that's someone who who works extremely hard, um, cares, is always the last person on the field um, leaving, um, on the field um, just. Like you said, there's been I feel like I've I've seen just so much growth, um, and really I feel like just him being who he is. Um, I don't think it's you know him playing above some level of development. It's just seeing him be who he is. You know we saw it this weekend, him making plays, creating separation, running after the catch. Um, you know getting in the end zone, um, coming up in big moments, and that's something that I I, I wholeheartedly believe he can do consistently. Um, you know obviously you know the business of it. You, you never know where people end up, what's going on, but. Um, that's someone I, I believe in tremendously, um, someone that will be an addition to, to, to any room who I, I know where, you know, again, you never know what's going on, but have the utmost confidence he's going to have success in the future. Um, so, um, and great person off the field as well. Uh, been amazing just to, to be around, to be in the locker room with. Um, brings a lot, uh, raise other people up around him. Um, again, always hardworking, super humble. So um, that, yeah, that's my guy. I won't hurt. Um, and again, you don't know how the business is, but um, I know where, whatever it is, there's there's a lot of success in his future. How much input did the coaches ask for from you on the receivers and who stayed and who did yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm a player. You know, they. That's. That's front office decisions. That coaching decisions. Um. You know, they're gonna make what, the decisions that are best for the team. And, um. You know, I. I, I trust in them. I, I believe in them. Um. I know it's not. Not easy for them either. Um. So. Um. You know, I. I back them and support their decisions. But that's. That's the. The front office and the coaching staff shot. Bryce Coker's on this initial 53. What is it that he's done throughout all season and training camp that's kind of stood out maybe to you to, to warrant this spot? Yeah, um, just someone that, again, works tremendously hard, um, is always doing doing the right thing, um, you know, attention to detail. Um, he, he's made a lot of plays. Um, it, it's also great just to see his comfortability um, at this level. Again, obviously, you come in and um, you're playing in, in a new league, new level against different people, and just seeing him come into himself as well, um, you know, uh, great attitude, um, someone that is super coachable. Um, you know, if he, the times that, you know, he's learning, the moment, if he makes a mistake, he doesn't make it again. Um, you know, he, he wants to, to be better. Um, someone that uh, has, has been, has proved he can, he can run all the routes, um, you know, make, make contested catches, create separation. So I'm, I'm super excited for him. Chris, a uh, chance to talk after the game, I'll look up there. But, um, how much did that one, drive and it being a successful drive just kind of I mean give you a little confidence
confidence heading into the season, at least that you know things are going in the right direction. I mean, you know, when, when, when you're looking ahead to, to going into year two. Yeah, it was, uh, um, you know, I think it was really good for us, good for us as, as a unit, as a team, um, something for us to build off of. Um, it was a really good opportunity just for us to, again, go out. This is a, a new group, new system, us to be able to go out and, and compete. Um, you know, in a game setting, we came a, a couple of good scenarios came up for us to get work on in that game setting. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy about how things went. Obviously, you know, you watch the film, things went well, stuff to improve on. Um, but I think it's it's good for us, something for us to build off of. Um, but, you know, of course, one drive in the preseason. Um, you know, we want to make sure that, again, we, we take it and we're able to, to build off of it and continue it. But obviously that doesn't entitle us to anything during the season. Um, you know, we're, we don't start the game with any more points uh, next week in New Orleans. Uh, so something to build off of for sure. But um, there's a lot of work to continue to do, uh, a lot of growth we, we still have to keep having. So, um, you know, we, we always kind of have that growth mindset. Have you started your Saints preparations? Uh, we've, uh, right now as a team, um, this has just been a bonus week for us. Um, you know, we, we've, we've viewed it, obviously, you know, today obviously is a big day. Um, kind of the rest of this week of, you know, figuring out the rosters to uh, having stability there. So uh, right now as a team, uh, this has been a bonus week uh, for us. So it's just been going against our defense um, in practice, um, you know, putting new stuff in that's just, toolbox stuff for us, so that, that's been the focus for us. Given that uh, Panthers are number one in the waiver wire positioning, do you think there'll be some, some more additions, maybe you know, the, the roster not set, so to speak? Yeah, again, that's that's above my above my uh, my pay grade. Um, that's everyone on the front office and the coaching staff and uh, whatever decision it is that, that they make, I'll, I know it'll be what, what's best for the team. Hypothetically, hypothetically, say that is the case, you have some new faces if you're between now and the Saints game. What do you do, especially if they're pass catchers, just to kind of help bring them along and get them caught up quickly? Yeah, um, just just do whatever it takes. Um, the coaches have a great plan to get, uh, again, just ha whatever happens. Uh, if, if, if there is movement, the coaches will obviously have a plan with that, get people acclimated or whatever it is that's necessary. And then, uh, you know, also from my perspective, it's it, if it's, again, it's just a, a position that um, that I'm around and that it's my job as well to make sure that I'm having conversations, we're going over things, having having uh, having talks, doing if, if, if it means, you know, going over extra things and watching film or talking through plays or the game plan. It's my job as well, uh, just as much to to make sure that, uh, you know, for, for the team's sake, we're, you know, as, as acclimated as can be, we're all on the same page. So, um, again, whatever the coaches choose to do, I'll support, and uh, I'll, I'll do it, whatever it takes to get us, uh, you know, get us to the best position we can uh, come next week. Bryce, Bryce. your five-man draft class went through a lot of growing pains last year. Uh, you, Chandler, DJ, Jonathan, Jamie. You're all still here after this cut. Um, have you guys ever taken some time to reflect this summer and just kind of talk about where you guys have been, what you guys have been through and where you guys have come from? Yeah, it's a blessing for sure. Um, just, just to be here, um, you know, that entire rookie class, you know, rookie year, you go in and you do a lot of things together. You, you know, there's, there's extra stuff for rookies and courses and um, stuff you do outside of football together. So I think um, everyone in the class, we all kind of, um, you know, you kind of, gain an extra bond with the guys in your class. So, um, yeah, it's 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 definitely a blessing for uh, all the guys that were drafted last year to still be here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm grateful for that. And, uh, yeah, it definitely is uh, something that, you know, I, I feel like we, we all would say we, we don't take for granted and recognize. So, um, yeah, we're, we're grateful. Bryce, Bryce uh, receivers have said that you take time to, like, watch film with them and watch uh, and specifically talk about you know, how you guys can get on the same page. Can you kind of take us into those conversations, whether it be with Amir Smith-Marset or whoever, like when you're sitting down and watching film with them, what do you try to talk to them about? Uh, yeah, just just wanting us to be on the same accord, see things the same way, um, you know. Football is obviously, a, you know, there's there's so many little complexities, and um, it's not always this is a right way, this is a wrong way. Um, it's just, you know, how much on the same page can you be? How efficient can you be? Um, a lot of times, you know, that, that's something as a as a team that we definitely pride ourselves in. Um, so it's just having conversations of, hey, you know, in our room, this is how we talked about it, this is how we see it, this is what we want. How do you guys see it in your room? How do you guys talk about it? Okay, it, it's a little different. All right, well, 
this is why I see it this way, why you see this, all right, this is our conclusion, or, oh, okay, cool, I'm glad, glad you guys see it this way. And sometimes for them it's, hey, we saw this little thing on whatever route or whatever coverage, we feel like this could be open. Oh, okay, I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't see that, I didn't think about it. That's a good idea, I like that. All right, let's, let's get on the, you know, I'm, I'm glad. Let's get on the same page, I'll talk to the coaches, we'll come back, you know, all that stuff. So really it's just as much as we can have those conversations, we can be on the same page and there not be on Sundays as little up to, uh, you know, up to interpretation as possible as to cover those bases. Uh, that's really just the, um, you know, the, the why behind all that. Not to jump to any conclusions, but did that bear fruit when on fourth and three you're rolling to your right and Deontay Johnson's wide open on the sideline? Yeah, I, th I think it all kind of comes into play with that. Um, you know, that's something that um, we've all echoed. The coaching staff has echoed with starting the second play and us having a mindset of that and, um, you know, just all those conversations, that stuff. Again, we 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 definitely don't just go out there, practice, um, you know, and then do everything independently. Even when we have our, our different meetings, uh, you know, if there's something that we're not sure on or whatever it is, we make sure that we have those those face to face conversations. Um, you know, everyone in in the in the offense, um, we all try to have as much of those as possible. So I, I think it's just it's a accumulation of of all that little stuff coming in, and I think that kind of for each plays uh, that's executed, there, there's always a lot of sources you can point to. Appreciate you guys.